The thing is, when you look back on your life, you don't remember these days. You don't remember how cold it was. A little bit of sleep you might have missed. Or getting out of bed early. What you do remember is coming up second place, third place, not first place. Because success doesn't know these things about cold or early or tired. It just knows if you showed up or not. The difference between someone successful and someone that's not successful is not their ability. The differential is their desire. See, some of you have dreams and goals, but hard work, you can't get around it. I wish there was a magic wand that I could wave that your passion, your dream, that thing you want to achieve, it could just happen, but it can't. Hard work is required. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Nobody wants to do it. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. What are you doing to make your next effort your best effort? Are you reaching deep down inside to fight through everything that you're going through right now? Or are you settling to be where you are at this current moment? You need to work an hour longer. You need to run just a little faster. You need to put five more pounds on the rack. That's the effort you need to be great. That's the sacrifice that you have to put in in order for you to get to the next level that you need to be at. It's going to take the dog mentality. It's going to take you getting a hold of this thing and not letting go. You're going to have to fight and fight and fight till you can't fight anymore. If you put in your mind at this moment that whatever it takes, I will do whatever I have to do to get to the other side, to make it over, to press through this. Nothing will hold me back. Nothing will stop me. You need to put more energy into what you're doing than anybody else. So you're getting up at 4 and it ain't working. Get up at 3.30. So you read the book once and you didn't get it. Read it twice. Read it three times. You can strive for 100%. You may get to 99, but that 1%, it can hurt more than anything. 1% is injuries. 1% is bumps and bruises. 1% is sweat, blood, and tears every single day. But when you're down and you feel out, just remember, this is that 1%. So you push back, you fight back, you get up, dust yourself off, and get back on track. This ain't for the weak and the uncommitted. Sometimes it's gonna hurt, sometimes it's gonna be painful, sometimes you're not gonna be able to walk. But if you want it, you gotta go get it. You gotta play hard for it. Yep, it's difficult, yep, why? Because the process is weeding out the weak. When you're working out, you wanna die. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat because it'll be all the more pleasurable when you reach the inevitable other end of the spectrum where you're laying in your hammock and sitting on a protein shake. Boy, I really went hard. I really went hard on that set. I really went hard in school. I really went hard in my career. I really went hard in life. Go hard!